have you ever seen someone that you thought, hey, that's that's so and so, but then you thought, I'm not sure if it is or not, and then eventually when you get up to the person, you realize, hey, it is the person that I thought it was. In John chapter nine, a man that Jesus healed of blindness had a very similar experience. Jesus had anointed his eyes with mud and told him to go wash in the pool, and then it says that he came back seeing. Well. The reaction of the neighbors and the people who had known the man all these years was, wait a minute, is this the guy that used to sit here and beg? Some said, it's him. Others said, no, it, he's like him, but he's not really him. The man finally has to say, I am him. I'm the one. I'm the guy who sat here blind and begged all these years. After all, there was no surgeries or medications or transplants available at that day and time. So when someone was born particularly with this kind of disease, they were unable to be healed and no one would have ever thought he was who that he really was. And the text tells us that after he did what Jesus told him to do, he came back seeing. I think that helps explain a little bit if we see some more details there of why all these people were talking about who is he and it's him, it's not him, because I think not only he came back seeing, he also came back talking. No doubt, when he, when he washed his eyes and washed his face in that water, the first thing he saw was the water. Then he looked up and he looked around and he saw the environment and he saw the trees and he saw the land and he saw all these things that he'd never seen before. He saw things that he'd only heard with his ears. He heard the voices of the people he began to talk to them, no doubt. No doubt he came back happy and rejoicing and very excited. And so that's why all this attention was being directed at him. And so finally somebody said, what, what happened? How is it that you now have your sight restored? And he tells them, a man named Jesus anointed my eyes with the clay, told me to go wash in the pool, and my sight was restored. He very simply sums it up by saying, I went... I washed, I received my sight. May I draw a parallel to something else Jesus said in Mark chapter 16? Jesus said, whosoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. This man said, I went, I washed, I received my sight. If we take the same application and the same faith of this man and apply it to what Jesus said in Mark 16, we can say, I believed, I was baptized, and I received my salvation. Let's always take Jesus at his word.